Hey everybody, welcome to Monday Simply Stampin' in the Meadow. Welcome to my studio. I'm Verna Mullen from Stampin' Notes. I'm located in a small, uh, very small um, farm area in western New York State. And I'm happy to be here with you tonight. I have some fun, fun folds, winter themed, to share with you tonight. Hi Margaret. It's um, December uh 19th 2022 and it is getting really wintry and it's about to be more wintry here in western New York State and thank you for sharing Margaret if you're um, on here and you share or comment each week I have a drawing for um, some it's usually gems or designer series paper and let's see last week's winner was Len Curran and Len thank you so much for sharing and um what else do I need to tell you? Oh, Stampin' in the Valley. The next one is January 14th, and I'm excited to tell you it's going to be in my studio. We um, love the Canisteo American Legion, but my husband and I are getting older, and it's, <laughs> it's really difficult to haul everything down there and to set all the tables and chairs up. And then he comes back down and helps me take them all down and put them away. So someone suggested, you know, you've got a really nice studio. You could have it right there. And I think it was my mom. So, hey, Ma. And so it's going to be right here on the farm, January uh, 14th from 1 to 4 p.m. And I'll be excited to have you here. Let me know if you're interested in coming. And um, I will um, make sure I have a spot for you. So also, um, if you're on tonight and you're new, or not, even if you're not new, say hi. <laughs> I love to see who's on and chat with you and watch your chatting. And um, tell us where you're from if you're new. So, yes, you're so excited. Yes, me too. So let's get started. Um, this is the first fun fold we're going to do, and I'm going to put my um, go to the project view. There we go. This is last week's winner, Len Curran. And this is the host code for this week um, GVDQHVBH. If you shop with me this week, um, and place an order of $35 or more in my online store between now and Monday evening, de December 26. Um, I will send you kits for each of these beautiful, fun, full cards that we're doing tonight. You will get two for each one. And they are gorgeous. This is a gift card holder. This is a um, split Z full card, and this is a pop up surprise card. So, I'm going to show you how to make them. But if you place an order with me of $35 or more this week, you can get those kits for free. They'll be sent out the beginning of next week. If your order is $50 or more, I will send you the gems that I'm going to use tonight in addition to that. So, so let's get started. And I will have links for all of that. Um, I will have links in my below my Facebook post and in my YouTube post. This will be uploaded to YouTube. So we're going to start with a pop-out surprise card first. And I'm just grabbing the supplies for that. Here they are. We're going to start now. The PDF also will come if you place an order. And I'm going to say the measurements right now, but if you want the PDF tutorial, it's all written up. It's four pages long with all the supplies and the measurements, all the details. If you want that um, PDF tutorial, then you can place an order with me or you can purchase it for $15. And this is eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm just gonna burnish it with down with my balm folder to break those fibers down so that it lays down there nicely. 
I have a piece of designer series paper that's 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. And I am using the Storybook Gnomes designer series paper. It is retiring. Um, it, it's beautiful paper for a winter winter themed cards. And uh, it is in the um, clearance or the retire last chance sale and clearance rack. So you can find it there. And I have a piece of uh, Pacific Point card stock that's three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to put this on the car base. I'm bringing in my Tombow glue, which is the same as Stampin' Up's glue in the green bottle. I have just put it into a um, little glue holder that I found on Amazon that I really love because it has a fine tip. You don't have as much glue coming out and it doesn't get as plugged up as my as the other ones do so um, and this is going to be centered on our card just like that I'm going to move this so you can see that better sometimes it's harder to see it against white uh, then I'm going to have put my designer series paper on top of this and you can see these cute little red mushrooms on the back here We're going to layer that on there. Okay. Now, um, this, most of the cards I'm using the Celebration Tags bundle, but for this card, I'm using the Sweet Songbird stamp set and the Songbird Builder Punch. And this is a stamp set. We're going to have a little winter bird here. And let's go ahead and make our bird. And this is the builder punch for that. Um, you can see, sorry about the glare, there's a bird body and the breast, if you want the bird's breast to be a different color, a wing and the beaks. And I've got a piece of scrap um, sweet sorbet. And I'm gonna punch this out like that. And the only pieces I'm using right now are the main body and the little wing. I'm going to punch out uh, the breast from a piece of scrap white cardstock because I want that to be a different color. And I'm going to put it on that right there. So let's take our little bird here. There's a little beak, but I'm not going to use that because I'm going to stamp it on the bird. And we're going to turn this over and put a little um, adhesive on it, just like that. And that will line right up along that um, the punched body. I'm going to move it down a little. There we go. Okay, and I'm before, well, I'm going to go ahead and put the little wing on. I'm just putting a little glue on the end here. And there's his little birdie wing. And I'm bringing in my black memento ink. And I'm going to stamp the little bird eyes. Where are the bird little eye stamps? Oh, they're in my box here. I've got the beak on one end and this, the little eyes on the other. All right, so we're going to um, ink up the eyes first. And there's an image of the little eyeballs, or these are kind of with the eyes um, kind of closed or looking down. And that's what that looks like. I'll hold it up in a minute when I'm done so you can see it. And then I'm going to ink up the little, um, his little feet. And I hope I left enough room here. Well, not really. I should have moved it over more. 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn him over. I'm going to make him go in this way. And let's put that right there. We'll ink up the little eyes. There we go. That's better. Then I'm going to repunch the little um, breast here and put that on. No worries. We learn to fix, live with our mistakes in a good way most of the time. Okay, so let's see, we want it that way. I just love this little set. And I like these cards because they're special. And I don't know about you, but we have a lot of um, winter birthdays in our family. So um, these will be great to have on hand. Okay, so there's our little birdie. And I'm bringing the, my card front back in here. And now on this one, I had them on the other side. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But I have punched or die cut out a large circle from Pacific Point. It's right here. And a small circle using the stylus shapes dies. And if you don't have these dies, these are probably dies that you're going to want to um, pick up. They leave a nice little stitching around the edges. I don't know if you can see it there. I'm going to put him on the, this side this time. And I'm bringing in one of the wonderful snowflakes. These are on sale right now because they're retiring. I I think they're two something. And they're they come in a pack with several sheets. And they're very they're beautiful. And I'm gonna put ink just in the center here. Inspiration for these cards were from Rhonda Wade, who is another demonstrator. I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of our little bird on the back side that doesn't look so good. <clears throat> Margaret, I meant to bring your card down. That was a beautiful card. Thank you so much for your beautiful card. I'll have to show it next week. It's upstairs in my studios, downstairs at the moment. Okay, um, so there's our little bird. And I think I'll punch another wing out. We want another little wing because the other one's on the back side of the bird. You can still see it, but it's nice to see the wing part on the front. And we'll just put it right there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And um, now we've got a little... Our little circle, I'm going to stamp some notes on. So here's our little circle because we want our little bird to be singing. And somewhere over here are my, oh, here they are. So I'm going to, I don't want this note on the end. I just want the three notes because that note on the end isn't going to fit on there very well. Um... Let's put this over the edge here. I 
All right, so we've got those other three on there. And then we're going to pop that one on with a dimensional two. And we'll just put one on the back. And our little bird is singing. All right, and let's put some... Um, so these are the fine sparkle adhesive back gems and these are on sale right now in the online store. Let's add a couple of these. And this is a take your pick tool. It has a putty um, instrument end that you can buy that screws in. And it's really nice for um, picking up. Um, I lost the backing on that. For picking up gems, you can just pick them up with that putty and then put them on your uh, card where you want them. Uh, let's put that right there. Okay, so we've got a few gems on there. And that's our card front. Now let's do that neat fold that's on the inside. So you need a piece of designer series paper that's six by six. And again, this is from the Storybook Gnomes. And um, we've got, I want this to be the front. So um, I'm gonna fold it in half. Just like that. Just burnish it a little. I'm gonna open it and fold it in a half this way. And actually, I'm gonna want it to be I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to switch it. And then we're going to fold it diagonally one way. Meet the corners. We're going to fold that like that. So um, actually I want, I want to do it the other way. You want the side that you don't want to show on the outside. So I'm just going to switch these. Yeah, this way. Okay. All right. So now where I've got my diagonal line, I'm going to push that in to make a little square like this. And I'm going to burnish that down with my bone folder. I love this card. It's so cute and it's so it's not bad to make. Okay. So this is how this is going to open like that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um All of a sudden I realized I've got this going the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is an easy fix. Just when you think you're ready, I'm gonna take this off here. So the card stock should be four and a quarter by 11, not eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, this, so we'll just take this off here and I'm going to grab a piece of thick basic white that's four and a quarter by 11. Okay. I'm grabbing my four and a quarter by 11. right here let's try this again i'm going to fold it in half or you can score it at five and a half just like that and we're going to put this on the front of this all 
we can still use this. There we go. Now, if you get glue on your um, card where you don't want it, like I was moving that around and some glue got on the outside here, what you can do is take your embossing buddy and just, when it dries, just kind of tamp it on it. And that um, powder will cover that and it won't be sticky. All right, so I have two pieces that are three by um, five by three and three quarters of Bami Blue. And this is gonna go on the inside, each of the inside flaps on this card. I'm just gonna put my um, adhesive right here like this. and center each one in here. There's that one. And then we'll put this one in. You wouldn't necessarily have to have these, but it looks nicer. Okay. All right, now that inside piece that I made, okay, the one that opens like that, we're going to put um, adhesive on one side of it. Like that. And we want it, the open part to be towards the bottom and we're going to take the top and put it right up against the score line here and you will see that the sides come right out to the side of the card right out to the edge of the card and then your top is at the corner where you're going to where it's going to fold I got some glue on my fingers so I'm going to wipe that off So now I'm going to take my adhesive, my glue. I'm going to glue the, put glue on the top of this. Just like that. And we're going to close this down on that and hold it just for a little bit. So now we have our inside pop-up mechanism. Isn't that cool? And like I say, if you want the kits for these, all you have to do is place an order of $35 or more in my online store this week. And you can get a kit for two of each of the three cards. All right, now let's do our sentiment pieces for that. So I have two pieces of basic white. And these pieces are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And they're going to sit this way inside the card. So um, for the top one, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And these are from the Sweet Songbird set. It says, a little bird told me you've got something to celebrate. And I'm using two different stamps. I've lined them right up on top of each other on the block and I'm gonna stamp it on here all right and then for our bottom one I'm gonna use a stamparatus because um I'm going to stamp a little bird and it's a pretty solid image and I want to make sure um, it gets stamped properly. And this is a great tool to have because you can re-ink and re-stamp 
and um, you don't lose it, your position of where the bird was for inking. Sometimes it's so hard to know. Well, where, you know, it's hard to stamp over an image you've already stamped. Hard to do that perfectly, but with a stamparatus, it makes it possible to do that. So I want you to be able to see, let me move this over. I'm going to ink up the little bird here, and I'm using Sweet Sorbet ink. And I'm just going to, I'm sorry, the ring light is showing up, reflecting on this. So I would like that a little darker. So I'm just going to re-ink this. And I'm going to re-stamp that. And that makes the image, makes it, it's a great tool to have to make sure your images are nice and dark and stamped well. I'm just going to wash that off. And then I'm bringing back in the little eyes and the beak. Um, actually, just the beak I'm going to use because this is a smaller bird. And actually, I don't need the beak because um, the, the white shows up there. So I'm going to just take a Stampin' Blends marker, a black one, and just put two little eyes here. Because the eye stamp in the uh, Sweet Songbird set is pretty big for that small little bird. So that piece is done. All right, so let's put these in our card. I'm going to close this up before I get in it. And this piece is going to go on the bottom. And if you would like a bigger area, well, you can put your sentiment down here. I was going to say you could put um, some cardstock on the back, like five by three and three quarters, for your uh, and do your sentiment there. But th there's enough room here to write a decent note too. And. We are going to glue this on here. Okay, so um, now here's a sweet little card. And it's going to be a birthday card. And we open it up and we have this really great pop-up surprise inside. So that is card number one. Let's move on to card number two. And this involves winter mittens. <laughs> okay, so this um, card is actually a gift card holder. I'm trying to flip my page here of my PDF so I can make sure I have the um, directions right. So we have a piece of Bami Boo cardstock. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. We have a piece of Sweet Sorbet cardstock that's five and a quarter by four. And this is going to be layered onto this. Just like that. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Okay. And then I have a piece of white that um, cardstock, and this is five by three and three quarters, and this has been embossed with the Wintry 3D embossing folder. And um, this is the snowflakes one. There's one with evergreen, and this is a snowflake one. 
and you can see that it won't cover the whole thing. So what I did was um, put part of it back in it and ran it through my machine this way. Because uh, if there's a line or anything that's created from doing that, it will not show because this is going to be covered. So we're going to layer this onto the two layers that we already have down there. And center that just like that. Okay, so now we're going to bring in a piece of designer series paper. And again, this is from the Gnomes, Storybook Gnomes set. And this piece is nine and three quarters by four. And it's scored on the long side at three and a quarter and six and a half. So it will fold up like this. And um, you could. You could put it on your card. It's going to be centered on the front here like this. You could make it so it opens like that. Um, or it would be this way. I don't have the, I'm not going to do that and I don't have the pattern going the right way. So your bottom piece is on the bottom facing you. And you could decorate the front this way. But I'm going to do a gift card holder. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start with um, this piece right here. We're going to, it's going to be centered on the bottom. And then I'm going to adhere this edge. I will show you right along the top here. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in a little, um, I have an old one inch hole punch, or you could use uh, the layering circle dies or the stylish shape circles. I just want a little um, uh, edge there so I can grab the gift card out of there, out of that holder. And I'm going to take a few glue dots and um, so it's going to go on here like this. Let's go ahead and do that. It says the cutest little gnomes. The gnome stamp set um, in the holiday catalog is not carrying over, but there's a new one in the new spring catalog and the dies are carrying over and but the paper and the old stamp set are retiring so here's our little holder and i'm going to take a few glue dots and put in that one end oops to seal it or you could run a little glue there's one. We just don't want our gift card falling out of there. Okay. That one's sticking out a little bit. Okay. So we've got our holder in place. Um, I have a piece of three and a half by two and a half um, basic white card stock, and I'm going to stamp the inside sentiment on that. It's right here. And I'm using the Celebrate with Tags stamp set. This, is, this stamp set is carrying over to the new annual catalog. And the stamp set and the coordinating dies are wonderful. You can make tags. There's birthday here. There's some little um, tags for sentiments. This is texture. There's heart, snowflake, and there's a small heart. Lots of possibilities. 
with this bundle and you can buy it right now as a bundle if it's something you're interested in you should pick it up right now because um, once it's in the annual catalog you won't be able to save the 10 percent off um, by buying it in a bundle i'm looking for found it a block yep a block and we got to grab the stamps out of here so we're gonna put um happy birthday We're going to stamp happy birthday and sweet sorbet. Hey, Elaine. I'm glad you could join us. And let's see, does that look centered? Happy birthday. And this is going to go on the inside of our little holder here. Centered right there. All right, now for the top, um, I have another small piece um, that's two and three quarters by one and three quarters. That's going to go on the front here, right here, and we are going to decorate this. That's going to be centered just like that. And I'm bringing in my Stamparatus again because I want to stamp those beautiful mittens and it's a pretty solid color pretty solid um, image to stamp so we want to make sure we get all that color on there and sometimes it doesn't always happen with just one stamping so here's our mitten and I'm going to put that down and pick it up and again, I'm using sweet sorbet. Hey, Chris. We'll ink that up. Put this down. I love this mitten. It reminds me of mittens growing up. It reminds me of mom's new, mom got these beautiful new mittens from my cousin down south. They're like a suede with embroidery on them, they're gorgeous. Okay, so that one looks really nice. And then we're gonna do the another one right there. I might have moved that a little too much. Let's see what happens with it. Okay. There. No, oh, maybe one more. Okay. So there's our mittens. And I already have a pair that's a die cut out. So it's a safe time. So I'm going to set this aside and grab the ones that are done here. They are right here. There's one, two. All right, so we're going to bring our card back in. And I'm going to put one of these, um, I'm going to glue one down. And then the other one I'm going to pop on top of that one with dimensionals. All right, so we'll put one like this. And then the other one will pop on probably like that. We want both the snow flaky things there, the images to show. So we'll grab some dimensionals here.
my granddaughters have a uh, very competitive basketball game tonight. So when we get done with this, I'm going to turn it on there and see how they're doing. So it'll be on YouTube. Okay, so this is going to go on here like that. Isn't that cute? And we need a little bow. And let's use some of this beautiful organdy white ribbon and make our bow. It's sparkly, just like snow. We don't want it to be too big. So I'm going to pull these loops down a little bit. Okay, and we'll trim it off. We'll put our bow on there. We'll grab a glue dot. That ribbon, I think I'm going to actually use two glue dots for it. Come on. Stuck on the tool. Okay. We'll put those there and then we need something sparkly on those gloves. And we'll bring back in these little Fine sparkle adhesive back gems. That's a long name. Let's use, I think, the red. And how about the big one? Put that one there. Okay, so there's our little gift card holder. It says happy birthday, and the card goes in the side here. That's number two. Oh, thanks, Elaine. I worked at a floral shop for a long time, and we did a lot of bows, and I got a lot of practice with that. Okay, the third card is um, a Z fold, and it opens like this. It's not as hard to make as it might look. And I'm going to show you how to make this one. It's a double Z fold. So we're gonna um, cut, I have a piece of the Sweet Sorbet cardstock. And this is five and a half by four and a quarter. I have a piece of designer series paper, and this is from the Storybook Gnomes. And uh, the designer series paper is nine and three quarters by four. And, um, so we're going to do some scoring on this. And again, if you're interested in, I'm giving you the measurements, but um, the tutorial will come with a purchase. If you want the kits for these cards, it's uh, you will get the kits for two of each of these, plus the PDF tutorial. And all this applies to make the cards. So... Um, and if you use the host code um, that I I will post it. I had it down here a minute ago. And I will also send a link with it already embedded in it. And you can just go in and order, which is nicer. Okay, so anyways, we're going to score this at three inches. And with your designer series paper, you want to score very lightly. And the scoring blade is this light colored gray one. Three inches and... Um, the other one is five and a quarter. We're going to slide it down here to five and a quarter. Okay, now, if I fold this at that five and a quarter inch, you'll see that one, um, 
side is longer. This is a longer side than the other. So you're going to turn that so the longer side is toward you. Okay. Um, all right. And we're going to um, put this at the one inch mark on the trimmer. And I'm using this one inch here. The light's reflecting on it. Oh, I'm moving. See. Right here. I'm lining it up at that one inch mark. Now, when I put this down, um, I've put some tear and tape along here so you, I can see the numbers. Okay. So um, this is the longer side. This is the shorter side. All right. I'm going to bring my cutting blade and I'm going to put it at four. Whoops. Got to line that up there. Um, at four and a half. And when I do that, there's a, one of the score lines is right here. So you will know it's in the right place. Okay. We've got a score line down here and we've got this one right here. We're putting our blade at four and a half. We're going to go two and a quarter inches each way. So I'm going to go two and a quarter this way and score two and a quarter inches this way and score. So here we go. It's at four and a half. I'm going down to three three and a half down to two and a half and there's a mark here so you can see and then two and a quarter all right I'm going to go back to four and a half where I started I'm going to go up to five and a half and six and a half and then one more quarter inch six and three quarter inches so my scoring is done so I've got, this is what it looks like, all right? I'm going to go ahead and fold this. I'm not going to fold that. And then there's another fold right here, okay? I'm just going to fold that gently. I'm going to open this back up. And I want to make sure I'm doing this right. This is going to be folded back here. I'm going to take this um, loop here. Okay. I'm going to bring it up to the very edge of um, I just want to make sure I got this right. Yep. Okay, I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to bring it up to the very edge of this right here, this edge right here, okay? And this is going to go, I'm going to make sure, hang on just a minute, I want to make sure I've got this right. Because you probably would like me to make sure I've got this right. Okay, so this one's going to fold in. Let me do this. Let me tell you this again. This one is going to fold in like that. All right. So this first one is a mountain fold. The second fold is a valley fold. The first one towards you is mountain. The second one towards you is valley, all right? You're going to take your little um, bottom part here and take it right to the end there and just press this down. All right, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> After you've scored it, your first fold is going to be a mountain. Your second fold is a valley fold, all right? You're going to have this loop here from the Z fold, and you're going to press that down. So it looks like it looks like this now, okay? So now you're going to take... Um,
It looks like that. You're going to take your um, main part of this, this right here, you're going to put glue on. All right. So not this part here, but just this main back part. And you can see I've got my the gnomes on the back here looking at me. Okay. Whoops. I need a little more glue. All right. So I'm going to bring back in my card base, which is this. And I'm going to center this on it like that. It needs to slide down a little more. There. All right. So the only thing that's adhered on is um, this part from this uh, score mark here over. Okay. This part is not adhered down. Okay. Now we're going to take a piece of basic white cardstock. And this piece is, oh, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And this is going to go on the inside here. This is the inside um, sentiment piece. And we're going to center that right there. Pull it over a little bit. Okay, now I have another piece of basic white cardstock, and this piece is um, two and a half by three and a half, and I've taken the heart from um, this die set, this large heart here, and I've die cut a heart out of the center of that, and that's going to go on this front panel and I've got I've got it cut wrong. So I'll bring my trimmer back in and fix that. Um, so this is two and a half by three and a half. It's too long the long way. So we're gonna put it on three and a half. And cut that off. All right, and that is going to go right on there. And we have that beautiful patterned paper showing through the heart there. Okay, and now we're going to decorate it. Now in this die set, there's candles for a birthday. There's little hearts. There's a little snowflake. So I've die cut some different things. Um, let's put let's put a couple candles. And the candles are cool because they are um, they're stripes here um, and I'll poke that one at the top there it didn't come out so we'll put this striped candle on the side here just like that because this is a winter birthday card and we'll do a couple hearts because it's with love. We're giving it with love. The other candles have like this little um, cheesy cheese hole pattern in them. And this can go here. And then we'll put um, 
Let's shorten this candle right here and put it on the bottom. It needs to be a little shorter. We'll put that little candle right there like that. It needs to go up a little bit. And now we're going to um, stamp a little sentiment. And I'll bring in a piece of, I'll bring in my little sentiment piece. Okay, and this is from the Celebrate Tags uh, dies. And we'll use our little birdie uh, stamp. It says something about your special day. Where is it? I hit it out here, and what did I do with it? Um, you've got something to celebrate. We'll do you. Oh, that won't fit on there. Actually, maybe I'll put it on here. I should have put the candles here. They would have been cute there. All right, let's stamp. Um, you've got something to celebrate. I was looking to see if there was another one. Okay, let's put this on. Stamp block. Yeah, the candles across here would be really, really cute. I don't really like that there. I could put it here. All right, and let's use um, sweet sorbet. And again, I'm looking for it. It's right there in front of me, probably. There it is. Okay, and let's put it right there. Well, that's crooked. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover it with a big heart. Or with a heart. Good grief, Charlie Brown. And I'm going to grab this candle right here. And let's put that right there. Put a little glue on the bottom here. And we've got another one here. And put just a little Oh, we don't need it up high, just down below here. A 
We'll put them right there like that. And let me grab a cart and we'll cover our boo-boo for my boo-boo. Now this is a new punch that's coming. In January it will be available and um, it's Country Bouquet Punch and it has this really cool heart in it. So let's see if we can cover that with this heart. It might not work. Um, it almost works. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So we'll put it on there just like that. So here's our, yeah, it's not the greatest, but it's cute still. I think I'll take this off and what I'll do is, um, I'll post a picture of how I fix it. How's that sound? Like tomorrow. But anyways, um, this card, I really like this part of it. And then I'll have to fix that. So we've got that card, which is, this is another version of that. We've got our little gift card holder. Um, there's two of them here. Just like that. There's those two. And then we've got our little songbird card that pops up. There's one with a bird facing that way and one with a bird facing that way. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed these. Hey, Dap. And um, thanks so much for stopping by. And I wish you a Merry Christmas. I will be on the 26th. Um, and, but I hope you guys have a wonderful, um, time with your families and, uh, try to enjoy it. And I get kind of stressed about getting things ready, but as I get older, I'm learning that the point is to really, um, try to enjoy it. So Merry Christmas and I'll see you next week. Take care.